coming in, not real, not even landlords like in the past, but real estate bankers who can think in terms of wrecking entire blocks and replacing it with plastic, uh, 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 plastic skyscraper structures, one after another, and at the same time as we say, wow, look at all these beautiful buildings, the truth is that it's not beautiful when people cannot live in those buildings, when people are being driven out, when people are impoverished. And now we'll see how people rise to the challenge. All across the country, people are being evicted and foreclosed upon and driven into the street. And what is the logical thing? The logical thing is, just because a bunch of banksters and a bunch of cops show up at your door, that does not mean that you have to be homeless, that you have to go out in the street, that you have, and that is what's happening today. People have to fight back for their survival. We have a complex, a psychological complex, where we think that the some they that actually owns everything and that we have to sort of make our way among these very rich thieves for our survival. It's the other way around. All of their wealth we have built, That's all right. of their power right. is That's based right. on our complicity. What kind of an army would they have if they didn't have idiots like us go out in the field to other countries to kill other people that they've never met so that these other people can add to their investments, can own the oil, can own the minerals. That's what we have today. And that's what this country has been based on from the beginning. From the beginning when they slaughtered the native peoples in order to convert their land into capital. Yeah.